hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about unfortunate love malishka finally angrily break up with rishi after accusing rishi of taking care of lakshmi who was actually unconscious all because of this same rishi so virendra get very angry with nilam for her selfishness at the hospital so let's continue from there Rishi is sitting at Lakshmi's bedside at the hospital and he recalls breaking his relationship with her on Malishka's order. Malishka drives her car fast, recalling the happenings and how she broke off her relationship with Rishi. Malishka stops the car and thinks that what the hell. She says, I cannot die for someone else. She gets down from the car and says some stories give peace and says their love is intense and mad, which will forget the world. She says, I was about to end myself. She thinks that she cannot die for someone. Malishka says to herself that if Rishi wants to stay with Lakshmi, then he should stay with her. She says, I will not ask for your love because I will not ask for charity. She thinks that maybe we are not made for each other. She asks Rishi to give his hand in Lakshmi's hand. She sits in the car and she cries. Rishi takes off his chain that is wrapped around Lakshmi's hand. A song plays in the background. Rishi then wears the chain while looking at Lakshmi. A song continues to play in the background. Rishi says, I'm feeling guilty for not listening to you, Lakshmi. Rishi says to the unconscious Lakshmi that you are brave not to get scared of anyone. You always do this for me. I am not that brave. He asks, how much favor are you going to do for me? He says, I will not trouble you from now onward. And he asks her to open her eyes and says he would agree to her sayings. Rishi asks Lakshmi to open her eyes and he begins to cry. Rishi's tears dropped and Lakshmi regains consciousness and opens her eyes. Lakshmi mentioned Rishi's name. Rishi is happy and he asks if Lakshmi is fine. Lakshmi signals to him that she is fine. Rishi goes to his side and feels sad and cry. He comes back to Lakshmi and says, thank God you are fine. You took my life away. Lakshmi says, even you, you have taken my life. Rishi asks if she doesn't have any original dialogue and why is she copying his dialogue. He smiles and says it is okay next time. Rishi happily goes out and tells Virendra that Lakshmi has regained consciousness. Everyone goes inside. Virendra keeps his hand on Lakshmi's head and says when she fainted, everyone lost their senses. Nilam asks if Lakshmi is fine. Lakshmi nods her head that yes. Grandma tells Lakshmi that if you do this again, then I will slap you. The doctor had already said that only an expert can take the risk, but you were stubborn. She asks her to take care of herself and says, we have happiness because of you. Ayush asks Grandma to stop scolding Lakshmi. Grandma says it is her love for Lakshmi and it is not scolding. Ayush calls Lakshmi as a miracle machine and asks if she is fine. Virendra asks Ayush to go and call the doctor. Malishka returns home and tells Kiran that their relationship is over now. Kiran asks, what are you saying? Malishka goes to her room and locks the door. Kiran asks Malishka to listen to her. All the family members bring Lakshmi back home. Ahana and Devika hug Rishi and ask if he is fine. Nilam thank God in the in-house temple. Virendra says both Lakshmi and Rishi are fine. Grandma says Lakshmi has sucked out the poison from Rishi's hand and she saved him. Sonia comes there and hugs Rishi. Rishi says he is fine due to Lakshmi. Virendra says Lakshmi saved Rishi. Lakshmi says it is due to God and the fast. She says when Rishi's condition deteriorated, she got the idea which the doctor gave them that they can suck out the poison, so she have no option but to do it. Grandma tells Lakshmi that you had fasted for Rishi with true art and he defeated death once again. Virendra asks Rishi and Lakshmi to rest. Lakshmi says, I know that you all would have taken care of me equally if the snake had beaten me. Grandma says, surely. Lakshmi get up. Rishi runs to Lakshmi and asks her to be careful. He owes her as she walks to their room. Everyone looks at them. Virendra tells Nilam that he got very angry at the hospital. Nilam asks if he wants to say sorry. Virendra says no, I don't want to say sorry, though my way was wrong, but I will not apologize. Nilam tells Virendra that it is not his first time. She says you have done a mistake like this before too, but you did not say sorry. Rishi takes Lakshmi to their room and asks why she is working like this. Lakshmi says nothing and she recalls colliding with the ambulance. Rishi asks Lakshmi to tell him the truth about what happened to her. Lakshmi tells Rishi that she got hurt because she collided with the ambulance. Rishi asks Lakshmi to show him the injury. Lakshmi says it is a small injury. Rishi asks Lakshmi to lie down and covers blanket on her. He gives pillow under her neck. 
Lakshmi owed Rishi's hand and says I am not a liar. She says I did not pretend or show off. Rishi says Lakshmi I. Lakshmi asks Rishi to listen and says listen to me. She says I doubted you for some time. But when I asked you if you wanted to marry me from the beginning, then you said that I was made for you and you wanted to marry me. Rishi says yes I remember. Lakshmi tells Rishi that I saw your eyes and there was truthfulness in your eyes. Then why should I ask you again and doubt you? Lakshmi asks Rishi to look into her eyes and ask, can you find truth or lie in my eyes? Rishi holds Lakshmi's cheeks and says sorry and says that he never wanted to hurt her. Rishi tells Lakshmi that when you cry, I don't like it. He says, I like you when you. Lakshmi smiles and says this way. Rishi says perfect and asks her to sleep. Rishi again gives Lakshmi pillow and asks her to sleep. Rishi says he has no work and no cause because he has cancelled everything. Rishi tells Lakshmi that he will be with her and he asks, can he go and bring water? Lakshmi says, okay, and she smiles. Virendra asks Ayush why he is so happy. Ayush is eating food and he says he is very hungry. Virendra remembers the incident and says, whenever you are happy, you overeat. He asks, where do all the food go? Ayush says, I am smart. Ayush whispers to Virendra that Malishka had left Rishi. Virendra asks Ayush not to lie. A flashback is shown of how Malishka break up with Rishi and the flashback ends. Ayush says Malishka is gone. Virendra couldn't control his happiness and he begins to dance. Ayush and Virendra begins to sing and dance to celebrate that Malishka is no more in Rishi's life. Rishi comes there and sees them behaving strangely. Ayush makes Virendra see Rishi. Rishi asks who is gone. Virendra says the electricity has gone. Rishi says but the electricity is here. Ayush says it had gone before but it came back again. Rishi asks that what is going on dad. Virendra feels awkward and he goes. Rishi asks them to talk to him. Virendra and Ayush makes an excuse and they leave. Rishi calls Malishka but Malishka rejects the call. Rishi thinks that Malishka is not picking his call. Rishi comes to his room and finds Lakshmi feeling cold. He takes the remote to lower the AC temperature. He finds injury on Lakshmi's foot and calls the doctor. Rishi tells the doctor to ask the nurse to come and check Lakshmi's foot injury and do the dressing and also bring medicine if required. Lakshmi wakes up and hears how Rishi is concerned for her and she smiles. A song plays in the background. The next morning, Rishi gets Virendra's call and says the nurse has come. The servant Sandeep comes there and says good morning. He keeps the tea tray there. Lakshmi asks Sandeep that what happened that he brought tea to her room. Rishi asks Sandeep to go. Sandeep says I gave tea to Virendra but he said that the tea is not like the tea made by Lakshmi. Lakshmi says I will make the tea for father but Rishi asks Lakshmi not to get up. Rishi asks Lakshmi to sit and he asks Sandeep to tell his dad that he will not get tea that is made by Lakshmi for two to three days. The nurse comes there and asks that where is the injury. The nurse checks the injury and says that it is very deep and says I would ask the doctor. The nurse says you shouldn't have left the injury open. Rishi tries to clean Lakshmi's leg injury. Lakshmi says what are you doing and says you are my husband. Please don't touch my feet. Rishi says I am your husband and I can touch you with the right. He says you have saved me many times and if I am trying to do something for you then don't stop me. Rishi asks Lakshmi not to stop him and says I have the full right on you because I am your husband. Virendra comes there and thinks that Rishi is taking care of Lakshmi fully. Ayush also comes there and gets happy. Lakshmi says Rishi. Rishi says when I asked you yesterday, you did not say anything and he asks her to be quiet and let him do it. Rishi bandaged Lakshmi's feet. Lakshmi signals to him to wipe the sweat that is on his face. Rishi wipes his sweat and continues to bandage Lakshmi's leg. Lakshmi is happy and she smiles. Virendra comes to the in-house temple and he folds his hand. He gets teary eyes. Ayush comes there and asks if Virendra is crying. Virendra says no. Ayush says men don't cry. Virendra asks then why are you crying? Ayush says I am a boy so I can cry. Virendra says I am an old guy so I can also cry. Virendra explains to Ayush that there are happy tears which we got. Ayush asks really and says he got emotional seeing Rishi caring for Lakshmi. It is a step towards their good relationship. Virendra says Lakshmi will be very happy and says we will bring them closer in this Diwali. Ayush says promise. Rishi makes Lakshmi get up and walk. He asks if she is feeling pain. Lakshmi knows that no. 
The nurse comes there and says you have done a good dressing and says you would have done it since yesterday. Rishi says she did not tell me since yesterday. The nurse says she has talked to the doctor and the doctor asks her to give Lakshmi a tetanus injection and Lakshmi gets scared. Lakshmi says she doesn't want the injection and she gets scared. Rishi says you had fought with the crocodile and you fought with the snake and now you are afraid of the injection. He holds Lakshmi's hand and asks her to look at him. Lakshmi looks at Rishi as the nurse gives her the injection. The nurse says it is done. Lakshmi thanks the nurse and says I did not even feel the pain. The nurse asks Lakshmi to thank her husband who loves her so much because it was his love that made her not feel the pain of the injection. Rishi gets uncomfortable and he goes. The nurse tells Lakshmi that she did not see such a caring husband before. Lakshmi gets happy and says that she is really lucky to have Rishi as her husband. Okay guys, thank you guys so much. Rishi is actually a loving and a very good person, if not for the fact that Malishka is in their life. If Malishka is not in Rishi and Lakshmi's life, then their love story would have been so perfect. But thank God that Malishka is not in Rishi's life for now, at least for some days and um, some minutes and <laughs> some time. Lakshmi will get to enjoy Rishi's love and care until Malishka will come back again. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye, guys.